feeling happy, observe your thoughts. If you're feeling sad, observe your thoughts. My name is Laura and I run a company called Laura of Attraction and I focus on spirituality, mental health, self-improvement and generally empowerment. And today I want to talk to you about the power of your thoughts and how the things that you think inform your emotions and therefore affect your daily life. Now some of us fall into the camp that we're at the whim and will of our emotions. And the truth of the matter is, is that you're not. The thoughts that you have inform the feelings that you have, okay? And so we can go into this process where we think about things that make us feel sad, we think about things that have happened in the past, we victimize ourselves, we think about all the bad things that have ever happened to us, and then we start to feel sad. And the more that we feel sad, the more things that we think about, the more we victimize ourselves and the worse the situation gets. And this is what I would call the downward spiral. And once you're on the downward spiral, it's so much easier to just keep flowing and flowing and flowing into more and more misery because, you know, it gathers momentum. And so if you're on this downward spiral, to change from being self-loathing, miserable, depressed, feeling like the world is awful, that's a really big change up to try and change to be positive. It doesn't really work that way because it's too big a change. Uh, if you imagine uh, your emotions are almost like a train, you know, and as they're going in one direction, to try and get that train to just stop immediately and pull back, it's too big a change. So what you need to do is slow the train down okay, with more positive, more neutral thoughts from the thoughts that you're thinking, and then begin to turn it in the opposite direction because otherwise it would be catastrophic. So, if you are having thoughts that are detrimental to your experience within, I want you to stop and just recognize what it is that you're thinking about. Now, often when we are feeling negative feelings, when we're feeling down, when we're in the blues, when we're feeling depressed, a lot of our thoughts look a little bit like this. Everything's crap. The world's awful. People are terrible. The world's a cruel place. I'll never amount to anything. My life is horrendous. All my life has ever been has been awful stuff. There's nothing to be happy about. And this downward spiral, it just gets, you know, as if you imagine that train, it's just the more you, you pile that coal into the engine, the faster it's going to go. And every negative thought is like a lump of coal to send you to negative town over that way. Now, we don't want to go that way because negative town sucks. There's nothing there. There's like this really low caliber bar, but like the drinks are bad and it's full of really icky people. <laughs> So we don't want to go there. So where do we want to go? We want to get a happy veil, and happy veil's in the opposite direction, okay? And so what we need to do is take each one of those negative thoughts where nothing ever good happens to me. Well, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. You know, and I know, that that's a lie. And when you do that, you're discounting all of the positive, happy things that have happened to you. And yes, we may have had bad things that have happened to us. Trust me, I know, I've been there. We've had bad things that have happened to us, but we've also had good things that have happened to us. And the more you focus on the bad shit, the more you're going over here. The more you focus on the good shit, the more you're happy, going over to Happyville. So where do you wanna go? And don't act as if you are not in control of your thoughts because you are. And I'm not saying this is easy, but it is very simple and it does work. So when you recognize yourself doing that negative thing thought spiral thing where one thought comes in and then another one joins it and another one joins it and you're just going yeah come on in we got room for more you need to combat your thoughts and recognize that you are in charge of those thoughts so when you have a negative thought nothing ever good happens to me you have to go uh-uh bullshit that's not true that's not true. I have food in my belly. I have a roof over my head. The sun is shining. I have people that love me. I have a job, yeah? And you might not in that moment really truly feel those things, but if you don't combat those negative thoughts, you will end up over at negative town and you will be really sad when you get there because it's shit. So, 
with every negative thought that you have, recognize it, recognize it is just a thought and that you don't have to identify with it and you're also in charge of it. So you can say to yourself, hang on a minute, good stuff has happened to me. Good stuff has happened to me today. You know, I have no friends. Ah, oh, that's not true. That's not true because such and such texted you this morning and you, you went out with so-and-so last week. Now these negative thoughts are almost, you know, they're often lies for a start. And I feel like if you can, if you can separate them from yourself, so I, I do this thing where we, where we name that person that says all of those negative things as like a little demon that wants to catch you, makes you, makes you miserable, because misery loves company. So what is your demon's name? And we call it something like really stupid, like, like Sharon or Barry. Sorry if that's your name. <laughs> so something that's a silly name for a demon. It's not like Balthazar, you know, Lucifer. You know, that sounds powerful. <laughs> like Barry, you're like, oh, oh he's, he's the worst demon. Nobody, yeah, Barry. You know, think about this and extricate those emotions from being part of yourself. Extricate those thoughts as being something from yourself because they're actually not part of you. You just identify with them and then they make them part of you. The thought that your life is shit or your life is amazing is no more truthful than either. It's just that in that moment you're going, oh yeah, no, my life is shit. And you're identifying with it and you're focusing on it and then you're adding more to it. And so it's every little lump of coal that gets you faster and faster to shit bills over there, okay? So I want you to notice when you're feeling sad. Notice why you're feeling sad. What are you thinking about? Because we don't just generally feel sad for no reason. Okay, so what is it you're thinking about? And then I want you to begin to counteract those thoughts, those negative thoughts as if your life like depends on it, because it does. Because the more negativity that you feed, the quicker you're going over there. And this is honestly something that causes severe depression that can link you to a point of feeling like there is no point of being alive anymore. So challenge your thoughts, recognize that you're in control of them, recognize that you are not your thoughts and the negative thoughts, we're not joining in on them anymore. We're not giving them any power over us. We're gonna name that some silly demon that we're not interested in. And every time you start to hear those thoughts pop up, you're gonna say, not today, Barry. You're, you're just telling lies anyway. I'm not interested in it. I do have friends. My life is good. Good stuff has happened to me today and I can be a happy, fulfilled person. I am off to Happyville, okay? I promise you, this sounds innocuous and it sounds bullshit, but it works. This is one of the strategies that I used to get myself out of being in severe depression and wanting to myself at all times, okay? <laughs> and now I'm like, oh, actually, yeah, life's life's pretty good, okay? So just take a deep breath. Don't identify with the thoughts. Remember, you're in charge of them. I wish you luck. If you need some help, get in touch with me. I offer a free one-to-one -one, um, initial call. Uh, you can contact me via the email there, and I'll see you all soon. I love you. Bye.